Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be jumping on Squiggle and predicting the final three rounds of the AFL 2023 home and away season to see who's going to be making finals in 2023. Obviously, it's been an absolute wild season. We've had to do plenty of ladder predictions as obviously every couple of weeks things change up, but I'm here for my final um, ladder prediction for the year. I'm going to try and predict the rest of the games and try and get back the perfect ladder and then obviously see who makes finals in 2023. It's going to be a super action-packed video. Make sure to watch all the way to the end to see who makes finals. Drop a like, drop a sub, and now let's jump on Squiggle. Alrighty, so we are now here on Squiggle, and as you can see, well, there's a plenty of teams around the top eight mark, and obviously we have plenty of big matchups to get into. So to kick it off, we have a round 22. Now, well, instantly to begin, we have a ripping matchup between the Pies and Geelong. Obviously, the Pies just sitting at the top. Obviously, not too far away are the Ds and Geelong. Well, obviously, a big win to bounce into the top eight. And in this one, I expect a bit of a bounce back from the Pies after their two losses. And in this one, I'm going to go a close win for the Pies. I reckon they'll get up by three points. Now, up next, we move on to our next game. That is between the Bombers and North now. This one here, obviously, the Bombers aren't playing the greatest footy at the moment. Nevertheless, I do expect a win. Probably a little bit closer than what it should be. And I reckon the Bombers will get up by 12 points. And as you can see, that leapfrogs them into night. So chance, potentially next round of the round after to go up into the top eight. Now, next up, once again, a really big game for one team. Obviously, the other pretty much already eliminated from finals, that being the Suns. Now, the Swans with a win, I do think potentially could go into the top eight just instantly. Now, this one at the SCG, they're playing some really good footy at the moment. Four wins in a row, obviously at home as well. The Suns, they're very inconsistent and they're not very good away from home. So, all signs point towards a pretty comfortable win at home for the Swannies. And as you can see, the Swans, after being 15th a couple of weeks ago, they have now leapfrogged into the finals. They're in sixth. Um, up next, another really big game like the Crows. They've also got to really win this one to potentially go into the top eight. The Lions, they obviously, you know, want to knock off the Ds and Port for that home qualifying final. Crows, another team that aren't great away from home, and the Lions are very good at home. So, once again, all signs pointing towards a pretty comfortable win for the home team. And that puts the Lions back into second over Melbourne. But Melbourne are up uh, straight away next to potentially redeem themselves and take back that second position um, with percentage. Now, the Blues, though, with a win, could potentially get very close to push for the top for obviously another team that was not too long ago, right down the bottom and have had an absolute resurgence now. I know they're on a crazy run at the moment. I think it's seven in a row. The Ds also, I think, are on five or six. The Ds, I think they match up pretty well against the Blues, although I really would like to back the Blues in, pretty much lock them in for finals. I just think the Ds are going to have them. I'm going to go Ds by a single point. I think that's going to be an absolute blockbuster. Now I move on to the WA Derby. This one obviously doesn't matter whatsoever, but still pretty good game. Obviously, the Derby always makes it interesting. You know, could a win for West Coast potentially have North having Harley Reid? Uh, I don't think so. In this one, I reckon the Dockers will get up pretty comfortably. Still relatively close. We'll probably go 15 points now. Up next, my dogs. A win, I think, almost like Carlton. A win can pretty much lock them in. Unfortunately, I didn't have the Blues winning. I'm a Dogs fan. I'm going to try not to be too biased. I know the Hawks are super competitive. They just knocked up the Pies. I think they'll give the Dogs a run for their money. But I just think we still have enough. I reckon we'll start slow, but eventually get into gear. Dogs by 15th, and that puts us into fifth. Really big for my boys now. Saints and Tigers. Well, this one's super tough. Obviously, the Tigers, they technically, I still think, can make finals if every result goes their way. But the realistic chances of that are very low. The Saints, obviously, as you can see, they've been sliding for a while now. A win would really just keep them around the mark. Now, obviously, the Tigers are really, really bad at Marvel. Pretty much one of the only reasons they're going to back the Saints in. Although they haven't been playing the greatest footy. Well, they get a win and go into six. Big game there now. I think this is the last game for round 22. The Giants, well... Obviously, now they're the team just sitting outside the top eight. I think they'll go up to, I think, about sixth if they win this. Oh, sorry, a seventh if they win this. So it's a big one here for the Giants. Port, obviously, they've been a team that has been sliding over the past four weeks. They've got to hold on to that top four position. Now, I do expect an upset in this one. The power at home going to be a bit of a choke. I'm going to go once again another one-pointer, and I reckon the Giants, they go into seventh with an absolute thrilling win, potentially after the siren. Uh, yeah, Porter is in really bad form at the moment, and I expect that to continue. Here we are, round 23 now, straight into the next round, and wow, 
a really big game here. Our loss for the Pies potentially could have that minor premiership spot up for grabs in round 24. It is a Docklands, although the Lions are pretty good at Marvel. So I don't really think you can uh, kind of have that as the main reason to back in the Pies. Now, obviously, Nick Dacos and Murphy will be out. And I probably expect a couple more injuries uh, in their round 22 game, which is obviously against the Cats. They do have a relatively good break. But at home, I think the Lions are just going to make it interesting in round 24. Now, next up, we have North taking on the Tigers once again. Um, neither of these teams will be playing finals. Obviously, the Tigers still would probably prefer a win. You really don't want to be losing to North. It is an MCG, so that does make it a little bit more convincing. Dogs probably get up by 23, and they go into 12th. Really nothing special there. Now, the Suns, obviously, they're eliminated. The Blues, though, will they have the end of season bottle once again? Um, we're going to have to wait and see, but I think I've got enough confidence in the Blues. I think they're a little bit of a different side compared to the last year, although it would be quite funny. I think they get up. I don't think the Suns have much fight, although it is at home, so it probably will be a bit closer. We'll go, yeah, about um, nine points will go in the end. Wow, this one here, very big. Sorry, the Blues did jump to five as well. Wow, this game. This game is definitely going to shape up which one of these teams makes the top eight. Wow, this is a really big game. Obviously, at Giants Stadium, this one. I went the Giants in an upset last game, and I wouldn't be surprised if the Bombers won this. I think they've won a couple games recently here. I know I'm taking a bit of time on this one, but this one here is really going to shape things up. Bombers two wins in a row against two mediocre sides. The Giants with an upset. In this one, I'm going to go an upset again. This time, the Giants on the bad end of it. I'm actually going to the Bombers. Three wins in a row. They go into ninth, and we'll have a chance in round 24 against the Pies to potentially secure a final spot. Now, up next, we have the Cats and the Saints at Marvel. Now, this one here is do or die for the Catters. They really have to win this one. And the Saints, I think they're going to know that, and I reckon it might play a bit of a mental game on them. I really expect the Cats to come out strong. And yeah, really just absolutely manhandle the Saints. And I reckon this is going to be a pretty big margin. I'm probably going to say 33 points. As the Cats go into 10th with a potential chance to have, you know, one last go in round 24 at top eight action. Now, this one, once again, super big. I don't think the Crows can make it from here after the loss I had to the Lions. The Swans, obviously, a little bit more important at the Adelaide Oval. Do I expect... I think this would be... Uh, would this be eight wins in a row for the Swans? There's been a couple of teams around that mark, and it seems once they get to this point, they do eventually uh, lose that game, and it is at home. So, unfortunately, for the Swannies, I'm going to actually have to back in the Crows. I just, you don't really see that many wins in a row... And the Crows will want a potential chance, although I don't think they can make it. Uh, up next, we have my boys taking on the Eagles. Although the Eagles have been pretty competitive, especially at Marvel not too long ago. Yeah, I, I expect the Dogs to win this comfortably and lock in a final spot. Don't even have to worry about next round, which is, obviously would be very handy. But knowing the Dogs, you just never know. But I, I reckon we'll win that one. Up next, we have the Dees and the Hawks, another team that you can't just... You know, back out of these games, even though it's, you know, 3v16, in my opinion, this one should be super close again. But not close enough where it's, you know, kind of down to the wire. We'll go we'll go 17 points, three-ish goals, um, just about there. So that puts the Ds back into second. So they'll potentially have a chance alongside the Lions to snag that minor premiership in the final round. Now, up next, Port Adelaide, will they potentially drop... This game and potentially could drop top four at Perth. Obviously, this, uh, the Dockers, I expect them to be pretty competitive at home. They gave it to the Lions. And once again, I think they'll give it to Port Adelaide. But once again, I think they'll I think they'll just fall short. I, I really don't know. Because Freo are very inconsistent, but Port have a lot on the line. I think Port, yeah. I, d I don't see them losing like six or seven in a row. I reckon they will get up once again by a goal. And I think that, yeah, that does lock them in a top four position. Not a home final. Maybe we'll have to see in next round. Well, here we are next round. Obviously, the fixture isn't released, so it's not in order yet. But nevertheless, I mean, yeah, it's still very interesting to see. So we have the Lions and the Saints. Now, a loss for the Saints would put their top eight position up for grabs. And the Lions, I really expect them to have a good chance... Um, for that first position, I expect the Saints to have a couple of injuries over the next couple of weeks and, yeah, keep sliding. I reckon the Lions probably win by about... I don't think the Saints will lose by that much. They'll put up a little bit of a fight. 
21 points. So, well, the Pies are just still hanging on to that first position. As you can see, the top three have very close percentages. Obviously, it's going to have to wait and see. Now, this one here, super big. The Giants would lock in a top eight spot. And I think the Blues, even with a loss with that draw, should still hold on. Um, I don't know. We're going to obviously have to wait and see with the other fixtures. But at Docklands... I think Colony will be playing finals in 2023. I think the drought will finally be broken. We're finally going to see some action in the finals for the Blues. The Giants, they'll give it to them, but the Blues will get up by 15 points. And that puts Carlton into fifth, locking them in for the 2023 finals with my predictions, obviously. Um, not guaranteed yet. Now, up next, we have the... Well, well, look where we are here again. Once again, a chance for Collingwood to ruin a team's finals at the MCG as well. It's probably going to be Sunday 3.20 like I predicted in my other video. Uh, a win for the... I just want to see if... So let's just say we back the bomb. Well, that changes thing, things obviously a lot. That would probably put Collingwood, yeah... Minor premiership on the line for Collingwood, obviously, and finals on the line for the Bombers. Bit of a repeat from last year. I reckon it's going to be a repeat from last year with the actual score as well. A three-point win for Collingwood. Locks him in for the minor premiership at the moment. No, that does lock him in for the minor premiership. Uh, Collingwood, my 2023 minor premiers and Bombers in ninth. Wow, that is super unlucky. Now, up next, um, Dogs and Cats. Now, obviously, my boys would like to have a home final, but at GMHBA, we have never been good. Uh, I think the Cats still can make it, and I reckon they'll probably... I reckon they'll thump us in this one. By 31 points, and that puts Geelong in 7th. I really don't see us having any chance. I won't. I reckon once we'll get our spot in, and that will be it for us. Obviously, as you can see, I think that could be it. I reckon we might have the Swans game left. Now, in this one, um, I reckon Freo will finish bottom 4. I, I think it'd be stiff not to tip Freo in one, one of these games. Yeah, uh, at the MCG. Yeah, all right, we'll go Freo. I don't think it really matters. Uh, because, yeah, then in this one, I guess, we'll go the Suns as well. So, yeah, North and West Coast, um, the Battle of the Reed Cup uh, comes to an end. Um, up next, this is it. Obviously, a win for the Ds would give them a home qualifying final. And obviously, a win for the Swans, I think. So, a win for the Swans, I think, should put them into eighth position. Can the Swanee surge home for a 2023 finals berth? After, I think, being in 15th not too long ago against the Ds, though, who will have top two aspirations. Oh, this one's super tough to end off the video. Oh, I, I, I don't really know. I, I think the Swans are a final side. I don't think the Saints are a final side, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to go the Ds. Now, up next, we have Port Adelaide and the Tigers. Um... I think Port Adelaide will probably rest a couple of players who have been a little bit in and out over the past couple of weeks. So I reckon the Tigers will end the season off with a pretty good win. Puts them in 12th. Uh, up next, yeah, once again, the Crows. I'll have a good win to end off there. See? <gasps> oh, I didn't think... I. A last second. Hail hey, Mary. I think I went 26 points. I didn't... Oh my goodness gracious me. I, I, I didn't think they could make finals. I just went past it thinking nothing of it. I think they were down in like 12th or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, they'll probably be at West Coast by about 26. And then all of a sudden I see, bang, they just slide up the ladder and go into 8th and knocking the Saints out. Because obviously they've got a little bit more percentage. So there we have. We're going to quickly run through it. So Collingwood, the minor premiers. And we have the Lions, also a home final. D's Port, rounding up the top four. Then the Blues, they're finally in finals action in fifth. And we have my dogs. So the reigning premiers just scrape in as well. And the Crows, obviously you just saw. I, I, I don't know whether the Crows are the final side, but... Well, my predicting got us that. Then we have the Saints in what I say is the worst position on the ladder in ninth. And we have the Giants, Bombers, Swans, all coming very close. 
Uh, as you can see, I think with a win in the final round to one of these teams, they would have made the finals, but unfortunately, they just fall short. Richmond, uh, Suns, Freo, we obviously already knew they weren't going to make finals, and then obviously the bottom three, they were eliminated a very long time ago, but it was super fun to do this. Obviously, we'll quickly scroll down, and as you can see, this is the beginning of my finals bracket. Obviously, it's probably still a little bit too early to be doing the finals brackets, but yeah, there it is for week one. Super fun video. I really like making these videos on Squiggle. They're always a bit of fun. They're always a bit opinion-based, and obviously, always get a good response from you guys so i'd love to know what you guys are thinking i'll see you all very soon and well that was a good fun